For me, the commission is kind of a hidden jewel. Commitment. Food security. Consumption. Responsibility. Future. Interdependence. Multilateral space. Conservation. Sustainability. Lungimirante. Dialogo. Capacity building. A holistic. Insurance. Awareness. Consensus building. Negotiation. Coordination. Platform. Competence. Commerce. Equidad. As you can see, there's a diversity of words to present the Commission. On the occasion of its 30th anniversary, we have invited experts to present their point of views on the work of the Commission as well as on its priority for the future. I think the importance of the Commission on Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture has to do with the fact that it takes this very holistic view that it looks at all of biodiversity for food, um, that it doesn't divide up into plant genetic resources, aquatic, forestry, etc., etc. And I think that that holistic view is what we're missing in the world today. I think the fact that we've divided up nature and the whole world around us into separate things, I think, is a false, is a false way of looking at the world. Uh, in fact, they're not separate. And in fact, what affects them very much is the in interconnections between them. Um, and the Commission doesn't only look at biodiversity as a whole, but it also looks at the relation, again, the linkage between biodiversity and people, um, because it looks at the livelihoods um, aspect of biodiversity. It provides a sort of international watchdog, a means by which countries can come together and hold each other to account in what they're doing, monitor what's happening to genetic resources around the world, and focus on real actions to achieve sustainability, sustainable use. These aren't meant to just sit there as resources. In agriculture, they have to be used. And this is something that the Commission brings a unified means of, de of delivering, of bringing these things together in a constructive way so that we can all benefit from sustainable use. Je pense que la Commission euh, a une place importante, euh, étant donné que c'est au niveau de la Commission qu'on fait des... qu'on établit des, des concepts sur euh, les ressources génétiques euh, pour l'alimentation et l'agriculture. Et c'est la Commission qui prend en charge de mobiliser, de sensibiliser les différents pays sur l'importance de ces ressources, de réfléchir ensemble au niveau national, au niveau régional après et au niveau international. We need the Commission because uh, genetic resources is a critical uh, issue uh, for livelihoods, for uh, social and economic reasons, and it uh, uh, deserves more attention. And the Commission has play, uh, played an important role in, in, in bringing more attention to the issues of genetic resources, both in terms of uh, identifying the trend in terms of loss of uh, genetic resources, which unfortunately continues to happen, uh, also uh, highlighting the importance of conservation of genetic resources both uh, in situ, on farm conservation, uh, but also in ex situ through gene banks. Adaptation to climate change will only be possible with genetic resources. So in a country where we have droughts today and farmers have developed over hundreds of years resistant plants, we need these genetic resources for adaptation in other countries. So no country will be in the situation to rely on its own genetic resources. We need international cooperation. And there you need an international body, a technical expert group. And this is only the Commission. And the Commission deals with everything, with fish, with forests, with livestock, with crops. So the Commission is in the center of designing future food systems. The elaboration of the Global Plan of Action for Animal Genetic Resources, adopted in 2007 
by member countries at the Interlaken Conference, as well as the approval of the funding strategy that will allow many countries to finally start some conservation activities with their threatened livestock breeds. Le traité sur les ressources phytogénétiques pour l'agriculture et l'alimentation, c'est quand même euh, une réalisation très importante. Les pays ont négocié ce traité. Il y a aussi les plans d'action mondiaux euh, sur euh, les ressources zoogénétiques et phytogénétiques. Euh, on pourrait dire aussi euh, les droits des paysans. Donc, ce sont des euh, réalisations très importantes de la Commission. It has certainly created a much more awareness of the need to conserve because what we call genetic erosion uh, is everywhere threatening the very foundation of genetic variability. And we know from experience genetic homogeneity enhances genetic vulnerability to pests and diseases. And therefore genetic heterogeneity is important. And that is where the Commission is concerned. The Commission is the custodian of the genetic well-being of humankind. The, the most important achievement of the Commission was to broaden its mandate beyond plant genetic resources to decide to look at all genetic resources for food and agriculture. The Treaty of International is of importance, pues marca un hito en las negociaciones internacionales en esta materia, ya que sus disposiciones responden tanto a los intereses de los países en desarrollo como a los intereses de los países desarrollados. Pero, además, y ello es muy importante, es que toma en cuenta los intereses de otras partes, como pueden ser las comunidades autóctonas, las universidades, los centros de investigación y el sector privado en general. Of course, when talking about uh, achievement, the, the treaty comes immediately into mind. The idea that collective rules are producing better outcomes than the, 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 the pursuit of uh, individual self-interest. And in fact, the, 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 the treaty is probably the most advanced expression of uh, the need uh, for collective rules and collective management for the management of genetic resources and their use and uh, conservation. Well, then we would not have this opportunity for, for international cooperation. So we would say opportunity lost if we didn't have the Commission or a similar uh, uh, cooperative organ. Each government would try to boost um, its um, production, its uh, production of food crops for export or to feed the, the local population, but at the expense in some cases of resilience, of long-term food security, um, without taking into account the fact that uh, diversity contributes to our long-term ability to feed a growing population in the face of new threats from nature and, and climate change. And without the Commission, uh, therefore, we would see a, a situation in which monocultures would, would continue to spread, um, genetic erosion would, would further develop, and ultimately our ability to respond to future threats would be diminished as a result. Le iniziative per difendere la biodiversità sul pianeta non avrebbero un riferimento ufficiale condiviso dai governi. Sarebbero le espressioni di realtà diverse, ma che non hanno un punto di coesione e la forza per poter parlare al mondo intero. I think you would find that uh, battles over ownership of material important to agricultural production and improving agricultural production would become more intense. I think you would find the movement of material the availability of the materials that we need to improve production would become more difficult and more constrained because it would have to be negotiated each time on each separate occasion by each different group who was engaged in it. I think you'd find that minority groups such as indigenous peoples who have real interests and concerns would feel themselves more threatened by bigger interests such as the large international private companies or 
developed countries. En primer lugar, la completa implementación del Maipo, con la publicación para el año 2017 del primer Estado Mundial sobre la Biodiversidad para la Agricultura y la Alimentación, con un enfoque agroecológico y con distintos módulos para los distintos sectores. Complementariamente, yo creo que la Comisión tiene que poner énfasis en fomentar el uso inteligente y amplio de una gran cantidad de recursos genéticos, incluidos las especies infrautilizadas. Todos estos recursos son fundamentales para la lucha contra el hambre y la malnutrición, para afrontar los cambios climáticos y para diversificar la dieta, lo cual puede contribuir también a la salud de los seres humanos. Ah, todo esto no va a ser posible si no mantenemos también la parte social, o sea, la distribución justa y equitativa de beneficios, incluido la implementación a nivel nacional de los derechos de los agricultores o de los custodios en general de la diversidad biológica agrícola. We must ensure that there is access to that diversity and agreed terms on sharing the benefits derived from that. That has been achieved to a large extent for the plant genetic resources for food and agriculture, but this still needs to be developed for other areas of agricultural biodiversity, for the animals, the microbes, the pollinators, etc. Je pense que la Commission doit se focaliser sur euh, euh, les priorités euh, orientées vers les pays en développement. Parce que euh, dans ces pays, il y a plus euh, d'enjeux euh, vraiment vital qui doit être traité et qui doit être considéré euh, par, euh, par les autres pays. For me, one of the priority areas should be that the Commission should really attempt to bring into the picture in a much more meaningful way the voices and the experiences and the needs and the demands of the peasants, fisherfolk, indigenous peoples, pastoralists, whose lives depend on these, on these resources, but who have also spent all of their creativity and, and energy in the past thousands of years um, to create them, uh, to nurture them. I'm very proud of the achievement of this commission over the last 30 years. And together, we have to continue our efforts to ensure that genetic reserves are conserved and sustainably used for food security, nutrition, and sustainable livelihoods.